and this is going to be an exciting project. I'm using a lot of, uh, not a lot, I'm using few techniques here. I'll explain all of them, how, why I'm doing them and how I'm doing them. I'm starting with a piece of wood and really don't ask me what type of wood is it. Um, I don't know. Um, cut a circle, a disc, and then I drilled um, a recess on the other side, put it on the lathe and start creating, start shaping um, a ball, a simple ball. And from there it goes wild and strange. So let's go for the beginning. And first, first, don't forget, thank you very much for coming back to my channel and supporting my channel. Now, what I'm going to do is I just created, I marked myself a new uh, recess for further, that will be the base of the ball. And in this recess, I'm going to hold it like I usually do to turn it to the other side. I'm using the V-shape um, carbine tool with, in an angle and it acts like um, a very sharp um, skew and it cleans the wood quite nicely. And, and here I'm going to do the, at, uh, the recess. Um, I'm going to do two recess inside, uh, one to hold it, one to hold, um, the, to hold the ball on the chuck and the other one to put, to keep in the, my logo, my uh, emblem and because the V-shape um, carbine tool, the, his angle, it's easier for me just to scrap it to the side and it will give an angle to the recess so my chuck will be, will be holding it tighter because it's got a small, small angle. I turn it around and now I'm going to create, I'm going to machine out a vessel. Uh, when I mean a vessel, it means like a container that holds resin. But the wood himself will be the container and the art um, and, and the ball himself. So I don't have to do new things on the outside. I'm going to lose a little bit of the of the wood and I'm going to leave a small border and that will be my vessel. You can see how thin I made the border. I made it thin enough but not too thin so I'm not going to have a seepage of uh, resin out of the wood. Now comes the first excitement. I use four colors. I use green bluish, I use purple, I use gold, and I use white and clear um, resin. And now I start playing with it and I'm trying to create um, a, gold, um, a dragon eye. I'm trying. Uh, it's my first time I'm doing it. Um, I saw some people doing coasters like that on the internet. Um, they do coasters like Dragon Eye and I decided to take it to my uh, type of uh, work that I do um, and implement this technique with my type of work. I'm pouring it from quite high because this one then it falls with a little bit of more force and it pushes himself underneath and to the sides and creates few rings around and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
use the clear to push the whole thing to the sides because the center is going to be different thing that I'm going to do later in the next stage. I'm going to do the center totally, totally different. But you'll have to wait for the next one, for the next stage to see what do I do into the center. So that's why I'm putting the silver, that's why I'm putting the clear in the middle because the center is not going to be the most important thing. And that's how it looks like the next day. And um, what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to create uh, again a recess so I can hold this uh, ball and turn it around and go back to the back of to the base of the of the ball. But the recess that I'm going to do here. It's not going to be only a recess. Later, I'm going to use it as a feature um, of this ball. So stick around. You'll see how it is, um, what I'm going to do with it. It's quite interesting, quite, quite fun. Quite. It's a new technique that I never used before. I saw it used before. I saw most of the techniques somebody done before. It's not, I didn't invent those techniques. Uh, maybe I changed the, the way that I, they'd been done. But I didn't invent them. I just took all of them together and put it under one project. Um, and I think it came out, it will come out very nice and, and it's unique. And no, I didn't see nobody doing that before. So let's go to the next stage. I need to clean up nicely the resin and to clean up nicely the, the wood. So when I'm going to put paint on it, and that's what I'm going to do a little bit later, I'm going to put paint and some more things on it. Uh, it will be smooth. And you can see how smooth it comes out with, with um, if, if you pump up a little bit the speed. Now, I'm just going to put black as the base of everything is going to be a, a, a fast, fast drying black. And after it dried, I'm using um, bee, bee wax. I'm quite filling it up with a lot of bee wax. Um, and you will see why bee wax. It's, it's, I could use any other oily, but I tried, um, I decided to try to do it with bee wax and I'll see how it works. I, I burned the bee wax into the wood. I had no choice. I had to burn it good, good, good into the wood. And now I'm using, it's not color. It's, it's, it's actually resin, what you see now. Uh, and if you look at that carefully, when it comes around, I, I connected a very slow motor into the, into the back of the lathe. That's the motor I showed you in one of the other videos. And if you look carefully, you see that the resin doesn't smear nicely on the wood. It, it crackles and that's the effect of having oily stuff and like waxy stuff. So the resin doesn't have anywhere to grab into the wood. It, so it start bubbling and it start cracking and it's, and I'm doing it on purpose and everything. It's not color that you see here. It's resin, resin that are mixed with, with, of course, with color and it will create um, an effect of uh, I'm trying to create an effect of the scales at the skin of the dragon and in the middle I was going to put copper, uh, copper color into the middle. And now it, I'll leave it like that and it stayed like that for overnight on a very slow speed. And that's how it looks like. Look at that. It, 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 it's like, oh, nice. And now I have to create, if I want to do the dragon eye, I'm, I'm creating the, the part of the ball inside. Um, you'll see it now. And then I'm going to use, um, again, resin. No, I'm, I'm going, sorry, I'm going to use paint um, to work it, to work the colors and the, and the effect of the eye.
I painted that with black and then I sandpaper it a little bit so it will be still black into the grooves and now I'm start playing with gold and I'm, in, I'm pumping up the speed and the whole thing flies to the sides and slowly slowly I'm adding more and more colors you'll see more and more colors and I'm pumping I'm pumping the speed and uh, the, the paint splatters all the way to, to the to the to the rim The colors that I'm using are actually water-based colors because I'm not going to use resin in the middle. So it's not going to affect the, the colors. But it, slowly, slowly you can see the, the effect that it's getting. What do you think? Do you like this effect? Let me know if you like this effect. Let me know if you like this, this, what I'm doing on that here. It's new for me. And here I'm taking and I'm creating, I'm cutting in a groove. A um, few millimeters, that's a black line uh, parting tool and I created a groove. And now I fill up this groove with um, gel, uh, epoxy gel with copper that I found the, the correct ratio right now already. Uh, and the ratio is one particle of copper to one particle of po copper powder to one particle of uh, um, gel, uh, epoxy gel. And uh, this way I'm getting the epoxy, uh, I'm getting, sorry, I'm getting the copper effect quite nice. Um, one thing that I found out on, go on, on this one is because it's quite deep, it, it left few pit holes, small pit holes. And I wanted to close them with with um, super glue and and copper, but then I decided that if I leave it this way, it will look like old copper that been um, corroded. So I decided I'll leave it this way. It was easy to fix, but I decided to leave it this way. It gives it more of a old feeling to it. After sandpapering from. Uh, 120 to uh, 600 I'm using um, water sanding um, sandpaper with water water sanding and I'm using this time I'm using a new a new polish it's called Ferrecla um, because of the copper I tried the Ferrecla because it works on a very high speed you start over a thousand and then you move to 2000 rpms and look at that that's the eye and now what I do is I just paint with in black the middle of the eye, the ovalic thing that with the middle of the eye, and just to keep everything because it's paint, I'm going to put clear. But, but I don't want the clear to be shining and clean, so I'm taking paper and I just tap it up and it becomes very rough and the, the, the inside, the clear becomes very rough. And if you like this one, Tell me that you like it. If you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. But don't forget, of course, to subscribe to my channel if you like it. Uh, put remarks at the bottom. And of course, like my channel if you like it. So I will see you in my next video. And thank you very much for joining me on this exciting video.